Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Tech on Tweet, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use the Elgato Stream Deck for video production, photo editing, and how you can just use it for um, creative tasks other than something for gaming and streaming. So I just picked this up a couple days ago, and I've really been playing with it for only a few days, so I don't have the best settings, but this is what I got going so far. Obviously, some of these things are going to change, so... Um, maybe look for a future video, but right now this is what I got going and inside of the stream deck app I've got three different profiles default premiere in Photoshop I spend a lot of time in premiere in Photoshop So I have two dedicated profiles for those two applications Now I do work with ScreenFlow quite often so I could make another profile for ScreenFlow um, Or maybe something for pages or numbers, but again, this is just the early stages of what I've got going on so um, that's just what I got right now, but things will change. This is what I got right now um, for video production. So in my default, this is what I've always got up, unless I'm in Premiere or Photoshop. Um, at the top right here, we've got some quick access buttons for apps. This is actually going to open the YouTube website, so if I click that, it'll open um, YouTube.com. Like that. Um, this will open up the iMessage app. This will open up Chrome. Um, this looks like an app, but it's actually a folder, the Adobe folder. So if I open this up, it'll show me my most used Adobe apps. It's not all the ones I have installed, but they're the ones I use quite often. And then I've got JotSpot that will launch um, JotSpot right there. Right here, I also have um, the button to enable or disable my equalizer. So I can turn that on and off really easily. Um, down here are system commands. So this is command tab, so I can easily switch back and forth um, between apps, as you can see up in the, the top left corner. Um, this one is going to hide an app, so let's see if I open up JotSpot. I can press this button and it will hide the app. Um, so it's pretty simple and easy. Um, this one right in the middle is going to open up my server. So I just press this one button and it'll open up the finder window with my server contents. This is actually a folder. This will allow me to brighten or dim the screen on the um, stream deck. And then this button right here will switch between profiles. Now I wanna show you the profiles that I have set up. And this is my default one. As you can see, it is default. I named this one Premiere. And I also have it set to open whenever I open Premiere. And this one for Photoshop is set to open whenever I open Photoshop. So I can easily tab between all of the profiles with this button right here. But for simplicity's sake, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. We'll take a look at that one, and then we'll see what we've got um, for that. So as you can see, I opened up Photoshop, and the Photoshop profile opened right here. But I'm not in Photoshop, so I have to go through that now. Um, but right here, this is going to make a, a new document. This is essentially Command N. Um, I have my Save As button. This one will automatically apply a blur effect, which is pretty cool because there's no keyboard shortcut for blur. So I actually had to go into Photoshop, define blur as a keyboard shortcut, and then I had to um, apply it onto here. And for the most part, when making the Stream Deck profile for everything, I mainly use the system and the Stream Deck commands. None of these other ones I really use. I mainly use hotkey um, in the website and folder, and multi-action. That's pretty much it. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into um, Photoshop. Let's see, I'm gonna make a new document. You can't really see what I'm doing right here, but um, you'll get an idea of the buttons. And then now we'll just go ahead and maybe import a picture, just so I can have something to blur. Let's just throw this icon in right here. And if I press the blur button that I showed you, that will automatically open up the blur page right here. And then I can adjust that and do whatever I want. So it's actually really easy. You know, it works super cool. And again, the save as button will allow me to um, export this to a certain um, file format. I don't really use save as, but only when I want to export things. So that's why I have that one because it's just an extra key that I have to press. I'm hopping back into our stream deck. We can also do a new layer. What's really cool about this is it's actually a multi-function um, button. So this multi-action is what I had to use. If we double click, we can expand this and you can see I have two system hotkeys here. 
This one is Command Shift N, which is going to make a new layer. And then this one is just Enter. So normally if you do Shift Command N, it'll make your new layer, you can name it, and then you can press Enter. But I really don't want to care about the names right now. So with this multi-action button, it will not only make a new layer, but it will also accept the layer. So if I press this one button right here, the window pops up and then it presses Enter for me. So it's really cool. It's just one click and it will do multiple things, which is really awesome. Back in the Stream Deck, we can minimize the app. I always forget the command M is not minimized inside of Photoshop, so it'll minimize it for me. This is also a multifunction key, so it will do command um, control M to minimize. And then we'll also do command tab to go back to whatever app I was using. So it minimizes, and then it command tabs over to Finder, which is what I was using last. And then finally, we've got two more. This one will open up my desktop folder. This one will open up my server folder, mainly because I keep Photoshop full screen, even though I have three monitors. Um, if I just want to open up my desktop really fast, just like that, or if I want to open up the server real quick, it also has that one um, really quick. And then in the bottom right corner of all of these profiles, I do have the button to switch between um, my different profiles. So let's go ahead, open up Premiere, and I'll show you what I've got for Premiere setup. So while Premiere is open, let's go over some of the things these are my most used keyboard shortcuts. So I have break, which is command K, but it's kind of easier just to press one button to split the clip. A lot of people prefer using the blade tool, but I'm not really that type of person. I just like to do command K rather than having to switch between my different tools and everything. So let's see, we got our project right here. Let's go ahead and pull this back up. So this break will just kind of split the clip. So if I go right here and I just press the break, it will split that clip right there. So pretty simple and easy, just like that. Um, if we go back, we can see, I can paste a style. So this is the same thing as doing command option V. So if I copy a color look, I can easily paste that. This will open up my graphics window. So my little graphics pane, it will open up this instead of my editing for triple monitor. Um, this move down is pretty useful. It's going to basically do an alt down arrow. So if I have this clip right here, and I don't want to drag it down, I just press this and it will move it down one layer. And back in here, I can toggle between my normal mouse cursor mode and then my move cursor. I remember that this one's V, but I don't remember that this one is A. So it's just easier to have these buttons. So I can have my normal cursor. If I press this, I can then be dragging clips along to make a space and then I can go back to that. So it's easier that way. And then I've also got save, command save, and then again, this will open up my server folder and I can drag in stuff from there. So things are gonna be changing. I am just figuring out what I use often and what I want to automate with the Stream Deck. There are tons of profiles that you can do and I really do like this thing a lot. If you want to um, check it out, I'll leave a link to it down below and you feel free to copy my looks, my profiles um, making these icons did take a long time, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any suggestions for what I should add, let me know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and it helped you out in making your own stream deck, be sure to leave this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Apple Tech One Toy, and I will see you in the next one.